Hello, today we will be solving this problem called the reading box. So the RN box and Koti Valu and Justina are going to read them all. For each book you know the time it takes to read it, they both read each book from beginning to end and they cannot read a book at the same time. What is the minimum time required? So the first line of the input is the number of the books and then follow n integers t1 to tn representing the time required to read each book. Okay, in this example the answer is 16. Let's see why. So in that example we had three books and the time required to read them was 2, 8, 3. Okay, so in this case we have our two characters are K and J. Let's say that K starts by reading um, this book, which requires eight hours. Then uh, the character J can read the other two books. But even though he reads both of them, it's only gonna take him five hours and he will have to keep waiting for K to finish this book because it's gonna take it 8 hours and then when he starts reading that book that means after these 8 hours then K can read the other two books that's why the total time required is 16 hours it's like uh, K will read that book and during that time J can read both other books and he will still have time left, but he will be forced to wait for K to finish the other book. Then he will read the book that requires 8 hours, and in that time K can read the other two books. So the overall time is 16 hours, okay? So that's for this case. Now let's ask ourselves, what is the minimum time required? In, in general, like if we have n books with t1 to ti to tn, what is the minimum time required if in, in optimal conditions? And the answer is clearly the sum of all books because even if there was not this constraint of having to wait for someone else, if, you, if it was only one character and he wanted to go through all books, it would require him the sum of all books to read. That's like common sense. So that's the minimum time required. Now let's come up with an arrangement where this is possible, where we can achieve this minimum. Let's consider another example. For example, if we had five books and the time required to read them was something like one, two, four, and 5. If that were the case, this arrangement would do the trick. These are the books for K and these are the books for J. Like in this case, K can start by reading this book, it would require him 5 hours, and J can start by reading this book, it would require him 4 hours. After these 5 hours are, are gone, J would also be done with this book, so J, so K can read it, okay? And then J can get started on the other book. And after these four hours, J will clearly be done with this book, then K can start reading it. And then J can start reading that book that requires only one hour. And then K, after reading the book that requires two hours, will we'll clearly be done with this book, so K can read it. And at the end, here the time that J took is 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 7, which is larger than this 5 that K started with. So J can read that book 5. And the total time here is just the sum of all these books, and the total time here is also the sum of all these books. But if we see here, like in the example we had, here we have K and J. If we try to apply the same pattern, so 
Okay, we'll start by reading this book, okay? And during that time, Jay will start by reading book uh, that requires three hours. And when K is done with this book, then Jay can start by then then K can start by reading this book, and Jay would read the book that requires two hours. Then, when K is done with this book, Jay will also be done with this book, so K can read it. But now Jay has only spent five hours, so he cannot read this book because K is not done with it yet. So our approach will not work in this case and what is so special about this case what's special about this case is that all the books except the larger one like the sum the sum of all books except the larger one are not smaller than the largest book so if the sum of all books except the larger one are, is not smaller than the larger book then this approach cannot be performed and the minimum cannot be reached otherwise uh, if that's not the case like if we are in this scenario we would actually require both uh, both characters to take all the time that requires to read the larger book that's why the answer in this case will be two times largest book and this tells us that we have two cases so the answer is either this or the sum of all books and the difference occurs uh, when the the largest book is larger than the sum of all other books like in this case if there is some empty space here then we would require two times the largest book otherwise we just take the small the sum of all books and the answer will be just the max of these two so i hope you understood this approach let's check out the code so we'll start by reading our input then we will declare a vector that will store the time required to read each book then we will declare a, a variable of type long long to keep track of the sum of all books then we will declare we will loop through all books we will scan the time required to read each book and add it to our sum then we will sort our books so that we know which uh, book requires the largest amount of time and at the very end we will just print what we said we will print the max of the sum or the the time required to read the largest book times two and notice here we casted this to long long so we will not have overflow issues so this is it let's go ahead and submit so that worked thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye